Okay. We are kind of like a view of the area. If you don't get dizzy. Here's the Fable Museum. Whatever that is. Here are some of the homes that are up on, on the hillsides. Some of them are, are, are nicely newly built. The problem is they just got dirt roads up there for the last maybe block you go. And the problem is it's on a hill and you got snow country and snow time. And so that's the only reason why... Not the only reason, but one of the reasons why I chose against it. I just didn't want... I didn't want to put myself in a position to have a problem later. There's some of the traffic, some of the truckers coming through. Uh, this... On this... On the east of the Cascades, this is the main artery for Oregon. Highway 97. Um, Bend is the largest population. I used to live in Bend for um, a number of years until, like, 1978. No, first... Not number Three years from 1975 to 78. The house I was looking at was up that road and then make a left at a dirt road. There is the Fowlville Museum. Okay. This, I imagine, is Klamath Lake. That other thing was not Klamath Lake, it was just some canal. Okay. Now we're coming into uh, downtown. This, I gather that motel sign used to be visible from the freeway. Here is the museum. Come down over here. And I, I'm really close to where, when I got on 6th Street and I was driving down 6th Street, I'm really close to that right now. This is the other way around. We're on one-way streets. There's a little train. Here's the lake. Quality Inn is probably the biggest old downtown place there is. There's a very large maritime building coming up here on the right. Klamath County County Museum is right here. Uh, museum Library is here, so it's got a decent size to it. It's got a pretty good genealogy collection for the size of the population that we're in here. I, I donated a um, bottle records of Woodstock to them on CD at one point. Every guy, this is a little new, more newly built. We've got the Gideons here, I guess. My grandpa was a Gideon. I don't even know what they are. I think it's some kind of fraternal order. As we go up here, hillside downtown. This looks relatively new. Go up here to Fisher Nicholson, and if I... Yeah, this is major. Yeah, here's City Hall. I think. Or is or that is. I'm not... Not quite sure, you know, I didn't drive down this far, now that I recall. This is Monday at close, no, it's 10.47. I was adjusting my time. I used to have my clock an hour slow. I didn't want to bother with daylight savings time. But now that it's most of the year, maybe I should have changed it this whole time. No wonder is an hour late everywhere. Now, this is just... This is the Santa Clara red light here. <laughs> oh my God, okay. There's a view of the rest of downtown, and this is a working day. It's not a holiday, I just, um, you know. I'm just like guy using his bike. <laughs> now, sometimes people that are not familiar with the area will get confused and they'll including myself included, and drive the wrong way down the one-way street, but you're not really in any big danger. Most you'll get is a honk from someone saying you're going the wrong way. I'm going to go back down this way. There is another home up in this area. Now, some of the older homes, I guess, are up here. Stop. <laughs> and um, they needed a lot of work. There was one that needed a lot of work up here. We decided against it. Was, it was huge, but it just needed... Yeah, just accumulation of stuff in it over the years. Some of these are, are charming. This, I, now, I, now this, I'll tell you right now that this street here, <clears throat> even though it's so close to City Hall, uh, during the, the winter months when it's snowing, this is not going to get paved. Now, Jefferson Street, that reminds me of Jefferson. At one point, <clears throat> Northern California and parts of Southern Oregon wanted to, uh, secede from California and Oregon and, and form a state of Jefferson. And there's a little bit of a so there's a little bit of a theme. You'll see Jefferson Mall, things like that, and things there's just remnants of it. Uh, things that occurred in the 70s um, that, that 
covered that. So imagine going up that road without it being paved and uh, you're going too slow. You're sliding backwards on that. Okay. I mean, you know, you look at the grass, you don't see green Bermuda grass and perfection, but the overall look of the area is cohesive and so it doesn't really look bad per se. It's got its own kind of look here you know, to, to Klamath Falls. This is a little bit farther off the beach. I wouldn't want to live... The reason why I wouldn't want to live up here is I just wouldn't... God forbid if anything happened to the car and it's snowing, I wouldn't want to have to walk down this hill. It's probably not as bad as I'm making it out to be, but that was just my choice. I'm sure the people up there are perfectly happy. This big building here, I guess, is the back of City Hall. I guess. I'm guessing here, but things are so close. There's a veteran's service there. Klamath County Health Department. Wow. And then there's the Raglan Theater that I pointed out before. And this building here looks charming. I think it may now it's just a Mexican restaurant, but I guess it used, there's another church. I guess that over there used to be maybe a post office. Maybe. Don't quote me on that, because you know, I'm, not, I'm not the historian here. Here is the same safe where I came by. There's American Legion Post. Apparently, uh, there was a fire, fighter pilot from maybe World War II that was from this area that was lost, and so they have a memorial for him, or at least they did, somewhere up in this area. You gotta be careful. That's a little more busy. I gotta be careful. Another bar. <sighs> Bars and churches are the theme of this town. <laughs> Chinese restaurants, which I don't see a lot of Asians around here, so I really wonder how good the food is. That right there is the Winnemum Motel. And that hotel has gone out of business and they've been trying to sell that to someone or do something. There's three more churches, just a cluster of them. And then the other, and then when I said before, you know, maybe that's the high school, now I'm going to say maybe this is the high school. Or maybe I'm just turned around because the, the streets are kind of diamond, diamond-esque. If I go back up this street, I'm going to go back to where I live. There's another little... Maybe this is that same canal that I thought was the Klamath River. Here's a look at the... I'm looking... Some of these houses that you look at, especially the ones that got that green color to them, my past one, I think, maybe, like this one, it kind of looks a little, you know, you got, the color is just a little bit dull. I think they got asbestos in there. Maybe I should go back in that area. I guess I'll just go back to where I live. This guy walking his dogs. And you, you can just see, you know, they're, they're, it's, the place is not absent of industrial equipment. It's, they're around, they're going everywhere all the time. Here's some radio station, we got a water tower. Nice little area down in there. I think we'll go down in there, get another idea to get off. This, this is a main street, right? Older area, less, less suburban. Let's just go down here. homes are like. A lot of places have room in the backyard, you know, sheds, things of that nature. <laughs> I've never gone in this area, so let's, let's, let's figure out what it's like. Oh, th this must be a real treat <laughs> to worry about, you know, you know not a through street. Okay. To go uphill on. What's up here? I've never even been up here. I don't think. I might have been up here once. My neighbor might have taken me up here once, but I'm not sure. I know there is an area up here that has a decent size. Now there's a lot of geothermal. Oh, cemetery. I can do some genealogy work in my spare time. 
pretty big, nice looking cemetery there. Okay. I mean, this isn't this isn't the you know showcase of Klamath Falls by any means, but I like to do my videos and keep it real. Well, how did I go back that way? Warden Avenue. I guess since this is an avenue, it's gonna go. Now this reminds me a little more of Bend, Oregon, actually. Just this little this little area here. They have a lot of those kind of you know, pine bush kind of things and. Falls High School. Um, really quiet, yet not stranded. You know, the the unemployment level, unfortunately, in this county is pretty high. So the housing is very affordable. And there are three. Uh, I say three. I'll just just mention them, and I'll count later. Um, there are <clears throat> some houses that are older smaller, we're talking, um, it's a light and avenue. Welcome back to Palo Alto. Be very careful on that cliff. Hello. <laughs> um, there are some houses that are, uh, 1,500 square feet and below, one to two bedrooms, you know, still with a basement, a garage, things like that. Those houses will go for about 8,000. If you get into the two and three bedroom newer built, um, you can get a house, uh, not really newer built, but two or three bedroom, maybe that house might go for a couple hundred thousand, let's put it that way, roughly, I'm just guessing, I just want to say that, that one there would probably go for about 70, 80, maybe 100, um, close to getting lost, this looks like that's newly paved. Now, this area has geothermal energy also. Where they got it from, I, I don't know. Probably the ground, but I you know I don't I can't say, well, it's Mount Shasta, the volcanic blah blah blah. <laughs> okay, here we are back on Bain Street. You see how easily it is to get turned around here? Because I'm just gonna go straight for a sec. Let's see what's over here. This is the road. I was at the place doing laundry and trying to find a place just to make a simple U-turn, stuck on there and almost slid backwards. Up in here, I mean, everything's, you know, the roads are paved. There was a little town called Priest River we were looking at to have our getaway and eventual retirement home up in Idaho, but the problem was is that the, the roads were horribly paved. Some were just dirt roads. So the houses looked like this, and it had less of an infrastructure than Klamath that was farther away, but it had a house that was just a little cheaper, a little bigger, and, a, and didn't need any work, and the lady was just going to leave with all of her nice furniture in there. It was just a little bit of our price range, and we have yeah, decided against it. So there are some hilly areas in this part of town. I guess this was built upon later. I'm not exactly sure and straight. I know these things are going to end fairly soon because I know the, the town doesn't just keep going and going and going. And I was like, Van Ness! <laughs> Welcome to downtown San Francisco. We're on Van Ness. Now, I don't know if any plans are here. Are any plans? I don't want to get stuck on this street. Hopefully I can make a left. Hopefully it's in someone's driveway. There's a view of the lake. Okay, so you get an idea of what Clint Falls is about. Although I really, you know, I haven't drove in the, um, I drove on Washburn, but I haven't drove in the, like, urban areas that are near, um, Fred Meyer. I, I would say that um, the main difference is the streets are flat in that area versus hilly, and um, I wouldn't go so far as to say that, um, you know, I, I'd say that, you know, they're kind of more or less like that, but flat. You know, it's still the same kind of environment, same kind of neighborhood, et cetera, et cetera. 
looks and feels like a relatively calm and safe place.